Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Today in our Final Fantasy 7 walkthrough, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the Mithril and also as a bonus, the Boltering. Uh, the Mithril is very important because it's required for Aerith's Great Gospel Limit Break, of which a trophy is tied to it. So as part of the Platinum Walkthrough series, we do need to get it. Now, make your way over to the Junon Continent when you've got the buggy. And if you head north over the river, you can enter the cave here to find the Sleeping Man. Now, the Sleeping Man is going to whisper a few things to you. Um, one of those is talking about Materia. That comes into use later. The other thing he might say to you is to tell you how many battles you've engaged in. And finally, how many times you've escaped from battle. And you just have to exit and enter until he says what it is that we want him to say. And what we want him to tell us is how many battles we've had. Okay, there we go. We've already fought 290 times. Now, the only thing we're interested in, in the amount of battles, is the last two digits. In our case, the 9 and the 0. We need those to be the same number. And not only do we need them to be the same number, we need them to be odd numbers. So, as you can see, the closest odd number that we can get to from 290 will be 299. Because 9 and 9 are the same, and it's an odd number. So, we need to go out and fight 9 more battles. Now, we can escape from battles, or we can defeat the enemies as normal. It doesn't really matter. As long as we do exactly nine battles and the reason for that if we go back to him once we've got two of the once the final two digits are odd and the same then he will just go ahead and give us the mithril that we need which will give us access to the great gospel limit break later on so i'm just going to head outside now and get through nine battles now the number of battles is 299. As soon as I speak to him, it doesn't matter what he would normally say. Instead, he's going to give us a piece of Mithril. Now, incidentally, I should mention, you can actually get more Mithril from him, but you can only hold one at a time as far as I'm aware. However, we can at this point get a Bolt Ring. Now the Bolt Ring works the same way. We need to get the final two digits being the same, only this time they need to be even rather than odd. Now, as you noticed, I was at 299. I kind of thought it was suggested in live stream as well, um, that if we got to just 300, so one battle, we might be able to get the Bolt Ring then. But apparently two zeros doesn't count as an even number. Kind of makes sense, I suppose, since it didn't work. Which means that the closest for me was going to be 322 battles. Okay, so 311, although they are the same two digits at the end, are obviously odd. So the next two even digits that are the same would be 22. So I need to skip ahead now to 322. And now I've gone ahead and got 322 battles completed in total. So once again, we simply speak to the sleeping man and this time we get the bolt ring. Not the most incredible item that we can collect in Final Fantasy VII, but hey, completely nullifying lightning attacks on one person is going to have its uses. So yeah, it's a good thing to get. Okay then folks, so that Mithril that we collected we are going to be putting into use a little bit later on on disc 1 where we'll be able to trade it for the Great Gospel Limit Break and I'll make sure to mention to you when that becomes available. Uh, but just for those of you that have already, you know, gone past the point where I am right now, uh, you can go ahead and get the Mithril from the old man uh, once you've got access to the tiny Bronco, but not before. Okay then guys, well thanks for stopping by checking out the video today. I hope it's been helpful to you. I'm just going to head back now, collect some of the previous uh, enemy skills for our second enemy skill material and I'll see you next time. <laughs>